to say kwamba the reason why church the church of Kenya shall not have a voice over BBI is because the voice of the church is Mazo. The church of Kenya has been going through judgments. We have supported the hand of the wicked in Kenya. And as a result, God has judged Kenya and also God has judged the church. to Jesus. Haya kwa vile ni season ya sisi kunoa makali zetu mahubiri ya leo itaenenda katika hali hiyo. Isaiah 54 Nataka leo ni hubiri kuhusu the power of the tongue. The power of the tongue. Uwezo mm, nguvu katika ulimi nguvu katika ulimi the power of the tongue the power of the tongue so our preaching today is about spiritual warfare we are looking at spiritual warfare spiritual warfare subtitle the power of the tongue So maombi haya yanaendelea katika hali hiyo tumekuwa tukihubiri kuhusu neno la unabii uh, makuhusu mambo na unabii vita vya kinabii mm, the power, power of the word impartation of the word the zeal of god tumeangalia hiyo pia tumeangalia lately tumekuwa tukiangalia lately tumeangalia think lately we had a, we looked at um, uh, the place of prophecy in warfare so leo hii tunaangalia the power of the tongue nguvu katika ulimi in continuation with the spiritual warfare so our major title or our major, major theme today is spiritual warfare vita vya kiroho left tunaangalia umuhimu wa umuhimu mm, ama nguvu ama uweza wa ndimi power of the tongue Now let's look at Isaiah chapter number 54 during my preaching from from this as the Lord reveals the Lord helps me. Inasema hivi mstari wa 10 For the mountains shall depart maana milima itaondoka and the hills be removed. Hallelujah. Neno Kiswahili imejumuisha milima na I mean, mountains and hills as one word. So Swahili uh, refers to both the mountains and the hills as milima. Ama min, uh, na pia minuko. Ilisa anasema mm, maandiko yasema kwamba na milima hiyo yataondoka. Lakini but my kindness shall not depart from thee lakini Mm, la wa lakini fadhila zangu hazitawaondokea neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed wala agano la amani yangu kwenu haitaondoka asema bwana mm, mbaye anawarumieni so for the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed but my kindness shall not depart from thee 
neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, says the Lord that has mercy on thee. Verse 11, Oh, thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires. I will make thy windows of a gates, and thy gates of carmacles, uh, and all thy borders of pleasant stones. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. Verse 14. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be firm from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Verse 15. So behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. Verse 17. And no weapon that be fashioned against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn battle of tongues. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me. Bali, wema wangu hauta ondoka kwako. Wala hagano langu la amani alita ondolewa. Asema buwana akurehemuye. Ewe, ulie teiswa, ulie, ulie, ulie rushwa na tufani. Ulie tulizwa, mm, usie tulizwa. Tazama nitaweka mawe yako kwa rangi nzuri. Nitaweka misingi yako kwa yakuti eh, samawe. Nami ntaifanya minara yako ya akiki nyekundu na malango yako ya almasi na mipaka yako yote ya mawa ya pendezayo. Na watoto wako wote watafu, watafundishwa na buwana. Na amani ya watoto wako itakuwa nyingi. Utathibiti, utathibitika katika haki, utakuwa mbali na kuonewa. Kwa maana utaogopa na mbali na hofu na ma, uh, kwa maana haitakukaribia tazama ya mkini watakusanyika watakusanyana lakini si kwa shauri langu watu wote watakapokusanyana juu yako wataanguka kwa ajili yako tazama nimemuumba mhunzi avukutai moto na makaa akatoa silaha kwa kazi yake nami nimemuumba muharibu ili akaharibu kila silaha itakayofanyika juu yako haitafanikiwa na kila ulimi utakaoinuka juu yako katika hukumu uta, uta hukumu kuwa ni kuwa mkosa na hundi ya urithi wa watumishi wa Bwana na haki yao inayotoka kwangu mimi asema Bwana haleluya haleluya si Bwana tukuzwe tena na sehemu hiyo naongelesha ulimi tena nataka ushike sana Mungu ameahidi kwamba msere wa kumi. milima m- mountains shall depart and the hills be removed lakini lakini fadhila ama rehema 
Haleluya. Pamoja na ukarimu wake Mungu hautakuondokea. Neither shall the covenant of my peace wala agano la amani langu Bwana asema ba amefanya kwa ajili yako hmm? hata afanya kuiondoa. That means itasalia. Umahubiri ya leo imekusudiwa kututia moyo na kutu na kuamsha moto ndani yetu kututia moyo na pia kututia nguvu na pia kutuongezea ile hali ya tamaa ama msukumo mm, ama mtu imani ukasimama kwamba is not a, is not time for you to go down kwamba sio wakati wa wewe kwenda chini sio wakati wa wewe kukata tamaa sio wakati wa sisi kushindwa sio wakati wa sisi kulemewa sio wakati wa sisi kutupa mikono tuseme mambo kusha hapana kuna uzito mwingi sana katika anga ya kiroho there is a lot of heaviness in the spiritual realm anga hii ya Kenya ina uzito kiroho anga hii ya Eldred ina uzito sana kiroho watu wengi ukienda kulala utajua ukienda kulala Unasikia the moment umeingia kwako na ipatikana ushakula the next thing we look na kuambia mtu ujua uchovu wa mwili na uchovu wa roho wakati kuna uchovu katika roho ya mtu when there is there is fatigue in one spirit the effects shall be felt in the body when there is battle in the soul the effect is felt in the body wakati kuna zo hali ambazo makabiliano kiroho mwili wako roho yako inakabiliana kiroho hmm? nafsi yako inakabiliwa kiroho hizo makabiliano na vita vya kiroho na uzito wa kiroho zote zina zimo katika roho utayasikia katika mwili sasa mwili wako inaweza choka na lakini hakuna kazi umefanya ya kimwili sana. Hakuna kazi ya sulubu umefanya ya kimwili. Hakuna kazi ya mjengo, hakuna mizigo umebeba, hakuna vita ya kimwili umepigana. Walakini utasikia mwili wako ina uzito. Utasikia mwili wako umechoka. Na uelewe ni kwa nini? Huwa kuna vita vya kiroho ambazo kama we ni Mkristo ambaye una roho wa kupambanua, utajua hakuko kuzuri kule. Na kuna vita roho yako inapigana katika safu ya kiroho ambao ndoto zako itakuonyesha ama ndoto zako itakuambia ama kama itakuambia utajihisi kuna hali ambayo sio kawaida kiroho. Haleluya. Na hiyo ha, hizo hali inaashiria ina, ina kwamba kuna vita na kuna uzito. So unasikia mama anga the environment is heavy kuna uzito uwezi kuomba unasikia uwezi kuomba ukilala utaki kuamka unaweza lala ulale express au na neema ya kusoma maandiko unasikia ndani yako kuna mkizano kuna hali ya kukinzana there is an opposition within you kuna hali roho yako na nafsi zinapingana kuna hali ambayo unasikia ndani yako ile roho ulionayo na mazingira namna ilivyo hazikubaliani it is warfare Mwanamke ukisikia hivyo labda mume wako aisiki na wewe ndo unaisikia wewe ndo umepoa mzigo it's time to pray ni wakati wa kuomba mwanamume wewe kama wewe unasikia hivi na mke wako asikii ni wakati wa kufunga chakula ingia kwa maombezi hata kama ujini inaendelea sometimes we enter prayer and fasting because we want to know na hapo ndio Wakristo ambao hauna roho mtakatifu you are at a great loss. Sio nyakati kama hizo uelewe unasikia kuna kitu Mungu sielewi. Kuna kitu Mungu sipati. Kuna kitu nasikia Mungu narudi nyuma. What it is? What is it? Ingia kwa maombi ya fasting. Ingia maombi ya funga chakula. Maombi ya saa sita usiku amka. Maombi ya saa saba usiku omba watches the night watches 
keep the watch keep vigil kesha kuanzia saa sita mpaka saa tisa kaa usiombe amen kaa usilale kaa kwa maombezi wakati mwingine unaweza kaa na biblia tu kisoma sometimes i just want some of the things i do katika hali hizo nachukua tu biblia niko na toma tu biblia maana kanisikia mbinguni kunaendaje vipi i am tuning my spirit unaandaa moyo wako unaandaa moyo wako you are not so sure hauna uhakika nini naendelea Ekaro yako katika hali ya kutafuta Biblia unachukua unasoma maana masayo ya saa saba usiku kume kimya sana ulimwengu wa kiroho huwa ndio naanza kufanya kazi then waya yako mtandao ule wa kiroho m mm, antena zako pembe zako za kiroho zinaanza kushika kunaendelea nini god can speak to you ama you can have a discernment omba katika hali fulani omba katika hali fulani Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Now, Isaiah 54. Sauti ya Bwana atuambia hapo kwamba na milima, milima yataondoka. Sasa milima ni shida ambazo unazo. Milima ni matatizo, pingamizi, ugumu ambazo tunazo. Milima ni vita ambazo inatukwaza. Milima ni vita ambazo inatuzuilia kusonga mbele mountains. Mountains could be your sickness. They could be your diseases. They could be the challenges we have. Hali za fedha sasa ndio milima kwa wakenya wote na pia dunia mzima. Economical status, financial abilities. Ugumu wa fedha. Hmm? Kuzorota kwa uchumi. Kama uchumi unazorota, pia itawezekana mtu uchumi wako binafsi ni azorota. Uwezo wako kifedha inakuwa finyu. So you go through financial hardship. Kuna mambo ungefanya lakini kuna vizuizi. Kuna mambo ungeweza kufanya lakini hali zako za kifedha inakuzuilia. Those are mountains. Those are barriers. Hizo ndiyo milima na vilima. Na Mariki atuambia kwamba mm, na milima hiyo yatakuondokea. Na vilima vile pia vitaondolewa walakini eh, ukarimu wa Bwana fadhila yake Mungu kwako haitaondoka that means bado katika hali zile Mungu anatupenda so tuna uhakika wa upendo wake Bwana tunayo uhakika wa uaminifu wake Mungu tungaye tuna uhakika na rehema za Bwana maana katika hagano ameahidi kwamba hata aondoa amani yake so that one is given lakini sehemu nyingine milima kukuondokea eh, kuna kibarua ambayo lazima tutafanye na ukisoma hiyo ukiendeleza nayo mpaka mwisho bwana anasema katika nini kwamba katika haki utathibitishwa that in righteousness shall be established hmm? hata ingawa kuna zohali ambazo inatupinga kuna mali kuna vile Mungu atatusaidia. So verse number 14. Maandiko yasema utakuwa mbali na dhuluma. Mungu atakisha utakuwa mbali na hali ya kudhulumiwa ama hali za kuteswa ama hali za kugandamizwa. Hofu pia hmm, itakuwa mbali na wewe hautaogopa, hauta hofu msimu hizi. Maovu na mabaya yatakuwa mbali na wewe na yeye atakukaribia. Nani atafanya mambo hayo? Mungu kama haya hata kufanyikia nilikojili kuna hali ambayo wewe unainua imani niwaambie Mungu nimesimama mahali hapa There sometimes maombi naomba paka naambia Bwana ni mimi mtumishi wako nasema majina yangu yote Okay some scholars may have an issue with that But did David not go before God and say I am your servant Hallelujah Unajua kuna elimu zingine za Biblia ambazo mm, zinaenda sana zinapingana na maandiko There are some theology that are, that are just misleading. Of course, God knows Mungu anatujua. Bible says kwamba God has engrafted our names and even our picture on the palms of his hand. Kwamba Mungu ametora majina yetu hata sura zetu katika viganja vyake. So unajua huyo ni onyango. Walakini kuna wakati maombi bidii yako ya maombi na namna umetaka Mungu ajue ni wewe. Sometimes we even say who we are. That Mungu baba ni mimi mtumishi wako. 
you are convincing your soul. Well, if it moves God, the better. So, kuna zohali ambazo za kusukuma sana. Mahabia mungu kumbuka ni mimi. So, nyakati kama hizi. Ndiyo nyakati ambazo kama umu katika wofe because Isaiah 54 inazumuzia hali ya vita. Matiki ya sema kamba watu hao waribifu, ambayo mwaribifu ni shetani. Wakala wa mwaribifu ni kitanani waganga. Hmm? Mawakala wao ni nani? Wachawi. Mwaribifu na mawakala wake. Nani le waumba? Ni mungu mana shetani. He cannot create anything. Hakuna kitu shetani aliumba. He does not have the creation power. Satan does not have creative power. Creation power. Ana. But he can be innovative. Satan can be innovative. Uvumbuvi, I mean, kuvumbua, uvumbuzi wa matendo za dambi. Anavumbua. Kuvumbua na kuunda. Kuvumbua. Ni tofauti sana. So innovation is different from creating. So Satan can be innovative in ways of sin, matendo za dambi, bangi neza vutua, neza chomwa, neza karangwa, bangi sikuwi na siya watu nakunya kwa chai, bangi nakula kwa keki, bangi na leosha kwa... Yani, hizo ndiyo uvumbuzi na ubunifu wa kishetan. But it is not creation. So Satan has no creative power. So maniki ya sema kwamba, ye shetan ya liumbwa na nani? Na mungu. So behold, Wana asema, anatambua kwa ba kuna zovita ambavyo itatukumba. Now let's get into this one. That behold they shall surely gather together against you. So you'll be the common enemy. Utakuwa ndi ya hadui, ba wakuna madui wanakusajika kwa jili yako. Wendo utakuwa lengo. Wendo utakuwa malengo. Wendo utakuwa wanakuangalia. Mtazamo wa hadui itakuwa ni wewe. Bwana asema mseru wa kumina sita kwa mba tazama. I am the one. I have created the smith. And the, that blow the coals in the fire. And that bringeth forth the instruments uh, for his work. I have created the wester to destroy. Munga nasema ni memumba muharibifu ili akaharibu. Muharibifu ni ibilishi shetani. The waster, the destroyer. That's why I said Jigambe sana. Because he is a created being. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na kama kuna kitu siku jalisha sana. Madui wako wote wanao kupinga. Wali umbwa ama wali jiumba. The trouble makers in your life. The destroyer and the waster. Did they create themselves? Or were they created the same way we are created? So if the creator who created them and created us is the one that be on our side, then waharibifu hawa wanyamazi. Buwana asfiwe. Buwana isa asfiwe. So buwana asema kwa mba tazama. Mimi ndiye nilie tazama. Nilimuumba waharibifu. I have created the waster. Iswele nasema, nasema, verse number 16. Iswele nasema, tazama ni memuumba muhunzi avukutai moto wa maka. Na ni memuumba ili akaharibu. Sara wakumina saba, walakini hakuna sila zozote. Though there be no weapon that is formed against them that shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shall condemn. Na hakuna silai liyo undwa kinyume ama thidi yako itakayoweza faulu. Na vile vile na kila ulimi ama na kila ulimi itakayofanya kuinuka thidi yako ama juu yako katika kuhukumu wewe utaikanusha. Maana hii 
ndio sehemu yako bwana asifiwe maana huu ndio urithi wa watumishi wa bwana so watumishi wa bwana ni sisi leo ni hali ya sisi kutumia midomo na ulimi wako kupigana vita maana ulimi wako wewe mtu mkristo ni upanga your tongue is a sword your tongue is a weapon your tongue is a weapon ulimi wako ni silaha so nyakatika kama hizi wakati unasikia umechoka sana unasikia tu uwezi wakati wa mdomo wako ndio silaha umebaki nayo your tongue your mouth Mkristo ambaye hajui kutumia mdomo wake, I mean ulimi wake na mdomo wake, ni Mkristo mnyonge. In fact you are ignorant. Maana kwa ulimi wetu ama kwa, kwa ndimi zetu, midomo yetu, tunajenga na tunabomoa. Tunaua, tunaweka hai. Tunakusanya, tunasambaratisha. Tunatia moyo, tunavunja moyo. Tutatangaza imani na pia tutaondoa imani by your tongue by your mouth. So maandiko yatuambia sehemu hiyo ya sisi kutumia midomo yetu. Haleluya. Wewe kutumia mdomo wako, wewe kutumia ulimi wako ni urithi ambao Mungu ametupa. Tuna urithi. Kama tuna rithi sehemu hiyo, basi Mungu pia ndiyo mwanzilishi. Yeye ndiyo muasisi. He is the founder. He is the pioneer of how to use the tongue. Sasa ibilisi atikudanganya ukiona nyoka anafanya ulimi hivi. Ibilisi jua ni copycat. Shetan is a copycat. Devil is a copycat. Alijua ulimi ni chombo muhimu na ni silaha ambayo Mungu alitumia. Maana this is how powerful ulimi is. Ama this is how powerful the tongue is. When God created the universe. Alitumia mdomo. Ulimi. The book of Genesis tells us that um, in the beginning when Bible tells us how God created the universe. And he said, let there be. And God said, let there be. Na Mungu akasema, basi na iweko na basi kufanyike. Aliyatumia nini? Mdomo wake na imani. Chochote kile alitaka ifanyike, alitaja na ikafanyika. Neno hilo ndio hili. With this one, we can create our world. With this one we can destroy our world. So kuna wakati ambao kama unafunga chakula, kuna kufunga kwingine ambako mungu aliwa niambia nafunga na nisionge. <laughs> Don't talk. Yaani watu hasa the best way ya kutaongea na watu ni wewe uondoke mahali watu wamo. Unakae kaluni. The whole day. Mdomo wako ni kwa Mungu tu sio kupiga domo na watu kwa sababu gani kwa sababu kuna unajisi ambao mtu hupata kwa ulimi wako wakati umeingia katika maongeo na inaharibu makali ya upanga wako mdomo wako ni upanga now the book of revelation kitabu cha ufunuo yatonyesha sura ya Yesu kwamba unaona maandiko maandiko ya, ya to, tasira kwamba yatonyesha na mdomo wake kuna upanga ulimi wake ni upanga bao na makali kote ni ulimi wake bwana this one in the imageries mtu anaweza fikiri ni kitu kama monster but that's not the case so kama kwa Yesu upanga huko mdomoni mwake then how much ourselves we should always have our tongue ulimi wetu pia iwe ni neno iwe ni silaha iwe ni upanga unakata upande zote mbili So kwa upanga huo ama kwa ulimi huo ndio utatumia ha, kupindua hukumu ambazo umehukumiwa vibaya ndio hii anasema and every tongue that shall rise against the in judgment thou shall condemn na kila ulimi itakayo inuka dhidi yako katika hukumu ama juu yako katika hukumu wewe utaihukumu ama utaikanusha kuwa ni kosa utaihukumu kwamba ni makosa na hayo ndiyo maombeza ambazo nyinyi intercessors mujue jinsi ya kuenenda that we have the p 
privilege tuna ile heshima tumepewa tuna urithi ule ambao tumeurithi kama Mungu alitumia ulimi wake kama Mungu alitumia ulimi wake kutangaza maneno kutangaza uumbaji kutengeza um, uh, yanayoonekana ulimi huo anatuambia mimi pia nimewapa hii ni urithi wenu kurithi ni halili ya kuchukua someone haleluya bwana sasa sifiwe let me see your hand in the air someone is sleeping bwana sasa sifiwe kama inasema kwamba hii ni urithi then that means kwamba iliwahi kuweko haleluya ili kuweko haleluya so tunarithi kwa baba yetu we are inheriting This is our inheritance. That means tumewekewa kutumia uwezo wa midomo, uwezo wa mdomo. Kutumia sehemu hiyo enye una you engage your tongue in warfare. Mkristo ambaye hujui hiyo utatumia mdomo wako kupiga kelele mingi tumia mdomo wako kupiga nao siasa mingi I wonder about uh, about uh, about um, the uh, clergies rather than use their tongue in spiritual warfare and prayers and such stuff they are using their tongue to politics some of us use our tongues hmm kwa mambo zingine ambazo Aujui huwa inaua power ya ulimi wako. So you, kama ulimi wako utanajisika, kuna mambo utafanya. You can never win any battle. Kama ulimi wako uliuharibu. So hapo tuambiwa kwamba judgment, judgment hukumu. Hukumu ni wakati kwenye malango za kiroho at the gates. Kuna kusanyika watu ambao watafanya maamuzi pale the gates the gates the gates g a t e s the gates ni malango sio malango 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 ni mahalo mahali ama maeneo ambamo maamuzi yanafanywa kama utaoa ama hautaoa Maamuzi yanafanywa kama utapata mtoto ama hautapata. Kama utafanikiwa ama utafanikiwa. Kama itakuwa heri na wewe ama haitakuwa heri malangoni. Mungu akajua mambo haya. Yesu akayajua akasema katika Mathayo 16 na msara 16 akamwambia Petro, una ufunuo ambao haungekuwa nao ila ni baba yangu ndiye amekupa. Nakaambia na juu ya mwamba huu nitalijenga kanisa langu na malango ya kuzimu haitaweza kuyashinda that on this rock I shall build my church and the gates of hell so kuna za malango za kuzimu na kuna za malango za mbinguni ulimwengu wa kiroho huwa nimejawa na malango hapa kanisani ni malango. Thank God ni malango ya mbinguni. Tunafanya maamuzi hapa kwamba mtu unaponywa na nikitangaza unaponywa inakuwa vivyo hivyo rohoni kwamba katika Yesu Kristo umeponywa. Kwamba vita hivi ambao vinakudhulumu kuanzia leo unayashinda. Nimetangaza ushindi wako kuanzia sasa katika jina la Yesu maana nimo kwenye malango. So muombezi wakati unajua kuna zahali za dhuluma kiroho tuna oppression tuna ugandamizaji kiroho ulimwengu wa kiroho kuna hali ya ugandamizaji unasimama na unajishikanisha na malango So nyumbani mwako umeunda malango you have built an altar you have raised an altar a prayer place you are able to pray from your house Maybe physically hakuna kitu majenga ya maana Physically hakuna kitu but kiroho nyumba yako ni malango madhabahu hayo ni malango madhabahu huwa ni malango altars are gates open the gates so i believe in psalms 
unasikia inasema fungua malango kufunguliwa malango in Psalms 24 there's something there about the gates should there's something there about the gates Psalms 24 Zaburi 24 inasema hmm Verse number six. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Verse seven. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Verse nine. Verse eight. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord Almighty in battle. Look at the word battle. Hali ya vita imetajwa pale. Bwana Mungu ambaye ni hodari katika vita. Bwana Mungu wa majeshi aliye hodari katika vita. Ndiye afunguliwa malango. Kama malango fungukeen inweni vichwa vyenu inukeen. Inweni vichwa vyenu enyi malango. Malango yana vichwa. Naambia kuna watu vitu vyako wewe kupenya vitu vingine au utapenya mpaka ucontain na malango upigane na malango bai yameamua kukalia vitu vyenu yameamua kwamba kuna vita utapata pale kwenye malango ndio mahali maamuzi yanafanywa mtoto wako atasoma ama atasoma university utamaliza ama hautamaliza Biashara utafungua ama utafungua? Ulaya utaenda ama utaenda? Kanisa itaendelea ama itaendelea? Ibada itafaulu ama haitafaulu? Huduma yako itapenya ama haitapenya? Kwenye malango, maana malango ni kama mahakama. Malango ni kama mahakama. The gates are like courts. The gates are like courts. Penye kuna mahakimu. So kwenye malango kuna watu wa kuagiza ama watawala ambao wanakaa kama waamuzi. Judges. Eh wale ambao tumeona ufunuo hapo nasikia mtu anasema leo ufunuo hapa kaona malaika ambaye amevaa mavazi kama ya judge na ana kitabu kubwa sana. Na anuna kuna wengine hapa katika madhabao ambao kana kwamba wamesimama kuna mahakama na huyo mwenye alikuja anaangalia hata anaandika 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 kama vile judge wa anaandika then baada hapo anabeba kitabu na napana kwenda binguni he one of the visions it is proof kwamba hapa ni malango so when i decree wakati kuna mambo natangaza vile natangaza sasa kama kuna mambo natangaza kama mtu naponywa leo katika jina la Yesu shida zako ziishe zifike mwisho leo so katika hali ya imani lionayo na kutambua urithi wangu natambua ninatambua urithi wangu kwamba sehemu ya mimi kutenena na kutumia ulimi wangu ni urithi wangu ambao mwanzo wake imo katika Mungu na nimewachiwa nimefanywa mwana I've been made a son according to John 1 verse number 12 I've been made a son and by extension I am a heir of God and a co-heir with Christ So what have I inherited power What have I inherited knowledge what is my inheritance the wisdom to use my tongue hekima kutumia ulimi tunairithi so kuna ile pale power hiyo that privilege we have so for we our in our our heritage bwana siwe is a, our portion is a privilege. Now Bible says in John 1 and verse number 12 that unto them and them that have believed Jesus 
God has given them the power or the privilege to become sons. Sons of God. Na watu wale walio amini Yesu, walio liamini jina lile lake Yesu Kristo, Mungu aliwapa uwezo wa kufanyika wana tena wana wa Mungu. Na hao waliofanyika kanafanyika wana vile vile akawafanya wafanyike warithi. God has also given them the right not only to become sons but also heirs of God. Co-heirs with Christ. Warithi wa Kristo. Tunarithi warithi wake Mungu pamoja na Kristo. So tumerithi nini? Pia tumerithi hmm? jinsi tumerithi mamlaka ya ulimi. Power of the tongue. So when we decree, we decree like heirs of God. Tunakiri mambo kama warithi wa Mungu. Nikisema hivi ndivyo itakavyokuwa. Revelation 1 Verse 5 and 6, Bible says, And God has made us to be priests and to be kings for himself. Mungu katufanya sisi kuwa makuhani tena wafalme kwa jili yake yeye. So what does a kingdom, mutu mfalme unafanya nini? Mutu mfalme Mfalme huwa anatawala kwa maneno. A king reigns by words, decreeing. You decree, you declare, you pronounce, you proclaim. Unaimba, unatangaza, unatabiri, unasema. Someone get this one in Jesus name. Muimbaji ambaye hajui hii, utafiki kuimba kwako ni kutumbuiza tafili kuimba kwako ni kutumbuiza so ukiona watu na dance vizuri unasema hawa ni watumbuiza mwimbaji ambaye ni mzuri kiroho anajua kupitia nyimbo zako unatangaza mambo kiroho unatangaza you are decreeing you are declaring haleluya haleluya kama bwana yu upande wako nani yuko nyuma na wewe you are decreeing and you are declaring Hallelujah. when we sing the song that god has the final say kwamba mungu ndiye muamuzi wa mwisho he has the final say yeye ndio mwenye neno la mwisho you have decreed that song is a prophetic declaration who has the final say Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. What are you saying? You are decreeing. Sasa Yesu ulimwangu agiza pia na asikia nani amesema hiyo? Maana ukisema na ile ufunua ambao uko hapa ila ufahamu ambao unao kwamba wewe number one, you are a son number two, you are a king number three, you are a priest you are a very powerful entity wakati maza kubiri huwa najua mashitani wote wanapanga nanga wajue ndasema nini when i'm ready to declare prophetic word Ulimungu wa kiroho mzima huwa wanasimama anataka kujua nitasema nini. So kuna vita ambavyo inapigwa sana na inuliwa vita sana. Msiwache aende atoe unabii huo. Don't let him go declare. Kuna mfanyiko wa kiroho na kazi yao. Onyango weka baria. Wekea onyango baria. Wekea onyango baria. But where I am, I just declare a word in the spiritual realm. Na katika hali hiyo kuna mfanyiko wa nguvu za kiroho ambao inaangusha miamba na milima vyote then the word shines kama hujui hiyo wimbo wako hautashinda nayo your songs will be empty powerless your words will be empty and powerless they will not have effect by our words we rubber stamp kwa maneno yetu tunaweka muhuri mambo fulani 
So wakati imefika ndio kama ni wakati wa vita. Like now ulimwengu wa kiroho kuna hali kama hizo. You use your tongue. You use your mouth. Uwe na maneno ambazo ulijijaza ndani. Kama wewe mkristo hausomangi neno, unapata ndani yako hauna hazina ya neno. You don't have a bank of words. Bank of living word. Sasa kuna watu account yako iko na 5% ama 1%. Na 1% ile tu ya John 3:16. Hiyo ndio unayo kwa account. That God so much love the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Correct John 3:16, but tell us something else. Je, una neno ambalo umeweka ndani yako that it you can use it relevantly. Uitumie sawa sawa na hali yako hali ambayo unapitia sasa hivi haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe that's why you must know this word this one kuna watu anaamka na ndoto za ajabu ajabu hey oi oi ishindwe ishindwe okay baada ya kushindwa si risasi gani umeweka ya kufiatua risasi so ukiamka na ndoto kama nightmares kama hizo mmeamka na mashambulizi ya kiroho yani mashambulizi kiroho so manifestation is in your body sio mwili wako ndio una shida shida iliyoko ni kiroho so you must take a spiritual word a spiritual weapon a spiritual bullet put it on your tongue then fire urudishe mahali litoka there is no weapon the Satan together your brigade plus your cahoots your sympathizers your alliances and your 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 and, and all of them that are your confederates there shall be no tongue that you fashion against me that shall prosper and if there be any decree whatsoever the Satan whether you be on the mountain or you be in the sea whether you be on the land in the air or anywhere where you be plus your cahoots there is no weapon you fashion against me that shall prosper and i hereby annul and nullify every decree you have made whether by a witch a diviner a sorcerer a priest of darkness or any of your agents any decree or declarations or judgments you have made against my life I hereby nullify and annul it in the name of Jesus. For this is my inheritance as a servant of the Most High God. Now, hapo, how many verses have I used? Hizo ni meka, ni meka sila nyingi sana. Na kuambia kuna mashetani ambao, they cannot tolerate that one. I've used my tongue. The next thing, oh, 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 Apostle, they were killing me. Please pray for me. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Hakuna muganga. Hata wafungane wawe lufukumi. Even if they combine themselves a hundred thousand. Wafanye chochote didi yako. Kama umajua siri hii, Mambo yao yote inakuwa ni moshi. So when you hear me say kwamba hakuna uganga iwe na Himalayas Pakistan ama ya Nigeria ama ya Tanzania ama ya India ama ya Colombia hakuna uganga wote kutoka kwao mbaye naweza faulu dhidi yangu. When I speak like so I know what I say. Sasa una, unachanganya na kamganga wengine umumu wa wili wili hawa chache wachache. But then there are some witches we spare. We can kill them if we so want. Tunaweza angamiza waganga tukawamaliza. But just that uh, we know the word. Ile silaha tunayo. Tunaweza maliza watu. Silaha hiyo ni nini? Ulimi. Neno. Na kutumia akili yako kujua which word do I take? So the place of your mind and your heart 
plus your mouth, they are so important in you winning a battle. Kama utashinda vita, sehemu ya yani wingi wa neno. Na jinsi unayachomoa kutumia maarifa yako. Alafu unayeekeza kuyawasilisha ama unayafiatua pitia mdomo wako ama ulimi wako. Ni muhimu sana nitonyesha wewe ni nani. Sasa nikatumika hapa. So nimwambie ni malango. Malango sasa ni hapa kanisani. It is an added advantage. Na kwa ulimi wako unaitangazia malango ya kuzimu. If there is something that gates must hear is the words of your mouth. Kama malango atakusikia, I can pray from here and I pray from here and something happens in Germany. I pray for some, some I pray from here. Na mtu anasaidiwa baharini. Natumia malango, I'm using the gate. I'm using the gate. Ukikuja kanisani hapa, tumia malango haya. Tangaza mambo kuhusu familia na maisha yako. When I stand here, I declare over the nation and nobody can challenge my words. Because pia katika safu za kiro, we have weight. Tukona ranks. Kuna watu wepo wa mungu ni migu yao. Kuna watu the, the, the presence of the power, the anointing of God. Is, is, the, is at the level of their feet. So if the, if the level or the accumulation or the, 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 or the God being resident in you, the much you've allowed of him is at, the, is at the level of your feet. You cannot compare with you and I. God is buried in him to the head. The amount of Power one commands is dependent on the amount of word, revelational word you've accumulated and you are interaction and covenant with God. Asa kukul mambo kitangaza uli mungu wa gize na inajua. I saw someone ajirebu kuangilea I mean kuangilea unabia ambazo nilitoa kwa na mgina na yongilea zile za I think they don't know. They don't know. One time, one of our sisters, she is going to be with the Lord, Sister Leah. Kuna hali za kuwa hao ilikuwa ni hali ngumu sana. And they have been saved for long. They have been with the churches. Then she brought that prayer item, ya oppression kwangu. So, nakambe na hiu jai yombewa. They have prayed over the years. It is going like so. So I took it in prayer and I When I was praying, I was praying. Is it 26 wheeler? This trailer is going to be a na imeja I was praying. I was praying. I was praying. I was praying. I I ask God, do you need any mungu? Can you go and now You are using a lot of heavy weight to make it to Kidogo here. Yana to me, I was to Wango Sana Wakiro, Kuambia Jambo, Yambo, Likwa Jambo Kidogo Sani Kaisa. If you that was the end of the problems in their family, and Bazi Mambeo Kamuda, Son Kashenga Mona to Michuang in there, Awaku Sinda, Songa Kanefunga Macho. It's about your weight in God. So, wakati meso toma unabia lafu kuna watu mbao andaka kui Aya nalify! Aya nala nal! Nyakatea hiyo, napinga hiyo. Eh, hey, someone, rudi kwa baba yako wakiroa kufundishe. Kuna watu ambazo maneno yao ya kiroo awendi kembele mbele hivyo kujaribu wati kuya nal. We speak over the nation. We speak over the globe. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu kuna kitu tunajua hapa. Sasa wewe, over your house, dani ando wana familia na watoto wako. Let's come down to the hali yako sasa. Kuna zo hali ambazo, inakungojea, mudoma wako umetumia kusema nini. 
Maana midomo yetu tunayatumia kuongelesha hali. We speak to situations. We speak to, to circumstances. Tunaongelesha hali ambazo zingetu athiri ama kutugandamiza ama kutudhulumu. You use your tongue. Tumia mdomo wako. Ndiyo sila ambao mtu mkito unayo. When the Bible talks about the, 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 the weapon of warfare are not carnal. That they are mighty. That they are spiritual. And they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. One of the weapons that the Bible talks about is our tongue. The weapons of our warfare. Second Corinthians chapter 10. From verse number 3. 4. 5. 6. That though we be in the world. Though our conversation is here on the world. We are however not walk in the flesh. Then when it comes to warfare. Hmm, though there are battles. I mean, have, though they, we walk in the flesh, the battles in which we are engaged in, they are spiritual. They are not carnal. And as a result, they demand weapons that we must use. Those weapons are also not carnal. They are spiritual. Then they are mighty through God to pull down strongholds, pull down the mountains, remove hills, Silence circumstances and the voices of the enemy. Ukisema hayo natumia mudomo wako. Kama kuna mtu takuwa kimbele mbele kuanzia leo. Uwe kimbele mbele na maandiko. Uwe kimbele mbele na neno. Kinosiwe kimbele mbele na udaku. Sasa katika, katika hayo tunatumia malango haya. Umesimama hapa. When we are here, we decree. We declare kwa malango haya. Si taona ugonjwa kwangu. Pesa, mimi pesa, mm, auta nipiga chenga. Katika msimu na mazingara kama haya, nyakati kama hizi, watu wanalia mambo haya na haya. Mimi katika Yesu kweso, natangaza uzima, natangaza uweza, natangaza kibali ya mungu, itanefunika mia na nyumba yangu. Mana mungu wa hayo katika zaburi tano. Musiari wa kumina mbili. What have you done? Your mouth, your tongue. The God shall bless the righteous. Kama mungu atambarika lia mwenye haki. Zaburi tano, msara wa kuminambili. Na kamba mwenye haki mungu atamzungushia fadhila kama ngao. That the Lord shall surround the righteous with his favor as with a shield. So in this season when everybody is crying, lamenting, agonizing, I know my redeemer liveth. He shall preserve me. Ukisema haya malango ya nasikia. Na malango ambaye nakalia vitu za watu, inainu wa kichwa. Wachene vitu za wanyango zipite. Wachene vitu za huyo mwanda wazimu yipite. Ok, misi mwanda wazimu. Mimi ni mlokole tuwa yesu. Wachene vitu zake zipite. Wachene watoto wake mulipanga. Ku... Aa, musiguze. Hallelujah. Because ile mashamblizu na wachilia katika malango haya kuzimu. Tuna haribu. Mashambu, tuna, we release missiles. We contain. Na unakuwa kama judge. Malangu ya kuzimu, unakuwa kama judge ambao unajua chini unawasilisha. I mean, katika malango, malangoni. So, nisimama hapa, I am making an appeal. Like I've said, an appeal. About the issues of BBI na, na mambo na serikali. I made an appeal in the heavens. Ngoje ni matokeo. Bwana asasfiwe. You make an appeal. Muta ndaka kukufa na sema mbaba. Na simama I challenge the gates of hell. You shall not kill someone here. Hamuwe mutu hapa. Then I present my case in the heaven. Baba, you are the giver of life. And this one Satan shall not take. So zote mbili kuna vile na ziongelesha. So kuna watu mbao, hmm? Ulimi wako haujiu kutumia sawa sawa. Lazima utangaze kuna vita mbavyo utayazima tumia mdomo wako kama chombo ama sila ya warfare. Sila ya vita vya kiroho. Hallelujah. Always say ni kingi hospitali, patients will have to be healed. 
kuna wadu moja lenda tu referral just went kwa ajili ya Jacinta Jacinta huyu mmoja haya one time pia nikaenda kwa ward ilikuwa ya Lucy the late so kwa Jacinta was very dramatic rooms all the rooms lishika na vita and uh, that entire area ilikuwa na 1 2 3 4 so it was one ward kubwa lakini iko na four sections na vitanda so they saw me praying for Jacinta kambe Jacinta haukufi hapa okay yeah and I feel like I'm going to say you're not dying here number two, tunaenda nyumbani so prepare we are going home i was pregnant with the word of god nikiongea nijua kwamba maeneo hayo kuna madhabahu za kuua na kukula watu madhabahu za mauti hospitalini kabia we are going home you're not sick anymore kabia sasa mjipange tunaondoka leo nambia tungoje dakika nambia tawafanyia clearance i was speaking life and speaking faith wale wagonjwa wengine sasa walikuwa naondoka ambia haya na nyinyi pia enda nyumbani wewe waenda nyumbani unaenda nyumbani you know some wengine wa imani yao mpaka waombe kaambia dada katika jina la Yesu nimekuombea unaenda nyumbani kaenda kwa hiyo wodi zingine hizo sababu nilikuwa area moja hizo nilipoondoka hapo immediately saa hizo mwingine akakuwa discharged akauza Jacinta huyo ndio pastor wenyu is that your pastor Ambia he yeah, prayed for me and I immediately ile kitu kwa mashindikana siwezi na nyumbani nimeambiwa I'm going home. Mgeni aka aka just need to pick their numbers. Kwa mgeni kwa mgeni lewaambia wewe pia unaenda nyumbani hapa mtakaa leo mtakaa all of you are going home. They were healed that day and the following day. Kadi just need to rudi hospitali ku 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 kwenda kuangaliwa tena alipata wale watu wote waliondoka. There was no one. And it's not the first time mimi ndo kwa hospitali rooms watu ni wagonjwa nikamwambia mtu mmoja then i say hata nyinyi pia wote muende like the mca huyu mca wa certain mc alikuwa ame ameuguza kaletwa medi hill so i went there to pray for him hapo natoka ukenda nyumbani m mm, that's a husband to one of us then it happened kuna mnyele kuwa na serious case aise tembea she can't walk kambi what is the issue Ambie mimi naona nakufa. <laughs> I say ah, I just smile. I say ukufe baada mimi kukuja hapa na nimekuja na Yesu. Kaambia okay. Labda nilijua zamani zile. But today I am declaring healing over you. Utatembea sawa sawa na unaenda nyumbani. Ile room tulikuwa penye uh, baada ya MCA, kaambia MCA na kuambia like you must make a promise to God saa hii. Sababu si unajua nakufa. Make a promise now ndaka katubatia na katubakia nadhiri ya shamba aseme ile shamba iko pale tarbo mtende mjenge kanisa <laughs> ase good so tuna shamba nikasema haya na kitu kingine utaishi kwa utakatifu na utaongeza mwanamke mwingine huyu mke wako sema ndio apostle ndio apostle kaambia uta backslide kaambia okay sasa ukufi so i just say god na kuomba kwa vile umenipa mamlaka juu ya mamlaka za giza na nguvu za mashetani magonjwa na hali zingine zote nimetangaza uponyaji wako juu ya huyu mzee katika jina la Yesu the man kesho yake alienda nyumbani mwenye alikuwa katika hiyo room nikamwambia oh wewe na kuombea pia uende nyumbani na kuombea uende nyumbani wewe ni pasa kwa kanisa gani kaambia ni pasa huyo huyo jirani yako lakini kwa vile nimemwombea wewe pia na kuombea ndeni nyumbani and all of them three of them waliponywa kutoka nyumbani kwenda nyumbani nilikuwa natumia nini ulimi wangu using my tongue because of what i know and i've kept in my heart ulimi mdomo wako hivyo basi hakuna silaha iliyoundwa kinyume na wewe itafaulu lazima useme ukishaamini kitu si mtu utangaza Asa unatangaza kutokana na imani uliyonayo na kila ulimi ambao utainuka ndimi zingine midomo ingine other tongues that speak evil other pronouncements other decrees and declarations made in the night or in the morning 
in the day brought light under the sun or under the moon or under the stars. Those decrees, mana kuna watu anatoa decrees, anajishikarisha na mwezi. Kama hawa Islam. They make their decrees in union with the moon. Dio nona na wanataftanga ya ramadhani yao na mwezi. Crescent moon. There are some decrees they must make. Na yetu meshinda uwezo wao katika jina la Yesu. Kuna wala ambao natumia nyota. They must align themselves na nyota. Na nyota na unakananga usiku. So you can guess when they are doing so. Saizo wao melala. Na usiku kuna watu ambao wanafanya maombezi yao. Kushikama na nyota. Unaposikia na sema any decree that has been made under the sun in a last or any decree that has been made in last one with the stars or the moon or the water or the ocean. I know what I say. Masa kuna mwambengiza ambazo unaomba. Go beyond the sphere of this realm. Ingia katika na sema kama kuna zo mahamuzi ambazo zina mshiko yao kwa mwezi ni mekata na ya kanusha. I nullify them in the name of Jesus. Because I know here. Mwandike mesema. And every tongue that shall rise against the in judgment thou shall condemn. Why? Because this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. I am a servant of the Lord. Mimi ni mtumishu wa buwana. So why oli ya mtumishu wa mungu hapa? You just have to stand on the basis of this word. Na mudomo ulimi wako muutengeza kwa maneno. Umainowa na nyimbo. Umainowa na kufunga. Umekinowa vizuri na mahubiri. Umekinowa vizuri na kukiri maandiko. Then fiatua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hakuna mlogi. Anaeza ni loga. Kama wata logwa is because mda mwako juu kutumia. Bwana sema, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me. Na haki yetu ni yake bwana. So ni mungu wa metufanya haki. Maongeo na maamuza mbao tunamua imu na misingi yake katika kristo. Righteousness. Unless umesimama vibaya. Ukusimama vibaya, utaongea mambozi ngini ambazo, wata shetana ata kucheka. Anagile ya malo yamesimamia, umesimama kwa dhambi, umesimama kwa hofu, umesimama kwa uoga, umesimama katika hali ya unafiki. Then, ndaka kuongea mambo fulani. Sutani na kuambia, onge. The devil will tell you, nonsense. Now, let's look at mtu moja ambaya ultimea ambaya na wangilea hali ya nini ya midomo. That should be Job 22-25 or 25-22. Should be job 25, I mean 22, verse number 25. Ayubu ishina mbili, sariwake ishina tano. Na maliza ikisema hivi. Sariwake ishina nane. Thou shall also decree a thing, and it shall come, it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. Thou shall decree a thing. When we decree, what do we use? Our tongues. Our mouths. Kiswali inasema, Ayubu ishini na mbili, msaru wa ishini na nane. Nawe utakusudia neno, nalo litathibitika kwako. Na mwanga utaziangazia njia zako. Hallelujah. So kiswali inaongelea, hmm? Inasema msera wa shina sita na saba. Utamuomba yeye nae atakusikia. Nawe utazi simulia, utazi timiliza na dhiri zako. Nawe utakusudia neno. Kiswaili ahitoi neno muafaka sana. Because kiliza nasema decree. If we translate the word decree into swahili, ni kutangaza. Haleluya, mfalme ametoa amri. Ame amrisha, ame tangaza. So wewe nikasema kama mfalme. 
So tazama hapa mfalme akatangaza nini? Maybe kwa zile mstari wa 25. Hmm. Naye mwenyezi atakuwa hazina yako, atakuwa ni fedha ya thamani kwako, kwani ndipo utakapojifurahisha katika Mwenyezi na kuinua uso wako kumuelekea Mungu. Utamwomba yeye naye atakusikia, nawe utazitimiliza nadhiri zako, nawe utakusudia neno nalo litathibitika kwako na mwanga utaangazia njia zako. Hapo watakapo ku uh, watakapo kuangusha utasema kuna kuinuka tena naye mwenye mnyenyekevu eh, naye eh, mnyenyekevu Mungu atamuokoa na yeye aliye mnyenyekevu nikisawazisha hapo naye mnyenyekevu Mungu atamuokoa atamuokoa na huyo asiye na hatia nam utaokolewa kwa sababu ya usafi wa mikono yako. Hmm? Bwana tukuzwe. So the entire chapter 22 ukisoma e, hali hiyo ya uwezo wa kutamka na kutangaza unatoa msingi huo ama msingi huo umonayo katika Bwana. So katika hali ya kuwa laini na na umoja na Mungu uko sawa sawa na Bwana utaongea mambo utatangaza mambo tambua wewe ni mfalme tambua wewe ni mwenye mamlaka tambua kwamba una mamlaka na ninanifanya kwa urahisi sana there is no deliverance that has been too difficult for me to deliver sasa ukijua mambo hayo you can use wimbo to kufanya deliverance just a song na unajua kama Mungu mbe huu na uimba na unajua nini unafanya utafanyishia mtu kombozi haleluya Bwana asifiwe. So ujue sehemu yako kwamba Mungu amekufanya haki. Unapolemewa na hali, silaha yako ya mdomo, silaha yako ya ya, ya ulimi itumie sawa sawa. You just declare, you just decree. Shetani na wakuu wake ama watendakazi gizani pia wanaijua siri hii. Ndio maana wao pia wanatumia mdomo. Ina wamada tena wanasema kukoro, okoro, jokoro na kuna madini hizi za sect hizi ma dhahabu za giza giza they are they are wanatumia hiyo kukoro ama kutabiri so na waganga na wachawi pia wanatumia hiyo hmm? one time katika katika baada ya kuombea devosh kuna bomba niliishi kumbe mwenye bomba ni devosh na nilitaka nihame sana kwaambia nilikuwa natumia wanyama wengine hatari usiku one time i saw a, 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 niliona mnyama saa nane usiku ambao sijaiona sijaiona nina kisomo lakini kuna vitu sijai katika usome wangu kuna vitu sijaiona until that night nasikia nikilala usiku nasikia m mm, siwezi kuna paka pia wana koro peke ni koro yani paka pia wanatabiri cats can also be used birds can be used to prophesy They just come ndio wanakuja juu ya nyumba yako tu. Na zinalia sauti zingine ambazo sio za kawaida. Unasikia umbo wa wanaimba ama paka wanaimba, sauti zingine za ajabu ajabu wanafanya ku they are decreeing. Umbo wanajipata sasa si umbo tena. Umbo wanailia kama wanadamu. Wako katika sarakasi zingine. Paka pia wanageuka sasa si yule mia tu ni sauti zingine ambazo ukisikiza kama mtu wa kiroho amuka enda haribu hiyo biashara so usiku nikaamka nikasikia ai saa saba usiku na hii maku hii professor hii kukoro yao ijaisha then kanyapa nyapa pole pole na nikatoka na fimbo basi nikanyafuta hapo nikafuma mlango they were very daring animals hawakutaka kuondoka mmoja alikuwa ni jike nyingine ni kiume sema ha leo nimeona mambo sijaiona sio mbwa na si paka rangi zao ni zafanana majivu jivu wanakaa kangaroo na si kangaroo hmm. nikaona walikuwa mas... hawa na wale wanyama utumwangwa kufanya kazi fulani 
Nikigana nazo mpaka nikazitoa nje ya compound. So that was physical, but also there was a spiritual connotation about them. So kuna hali ya kutangaza ambazo shetani na waganga wanaitumia. Au nasikia mwana anasema kwamba unachukua nafanya mazingo mbe fulani. Then they use their tongue. Kutangaza, tumie midomo yao. Kutangaza, waganga tumie midomo yao. Kutangaza, usiku wakati nalala saa saba. Hao wanasimama wanachukua madoli doli na mashindano wanadunga doli na mashindano wanasema hii shindano moja hii. Tumetangaza ugonjwa wa kansa. Tumetangaza shindano ngine wanadini doli wanachukua pins. Shindano za duka. Sema hii tunamdunga mgu. Apate arthritis. Hii tunaweka kichwa. Hii umume mpaka awe mwanda wazimu. Sasa unapata kikaragozi ama idoli. Ina pins, 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 pins kwa kicho, kwa mgongo, kwa mgu. Sasa maali huko na siyo ina umwa. Na kufa, mgu, oh, kichwa, mkono, sijui ni wapi. Eee, wakati kwa nadunga hizo, walikuwa natabiri. Maali ya melala, tunatabiri ugonjo wa kansa. Hizo tunamalizanga hapa. Sasa wewe ushajua maali upo, lazima mungu kwa vile na kupenda, lazima mungu atakupatia Ma, ata kupatia ufunuo katika ndoto kuhusu suala kama hilo. Bwana asifiwe. Utapewa. Kabla haijatokea watakufunulia. Wanapoyapanga Mungu anasema kwamba ni mimi nimeunda mganga, nimemuumba mganga na muharibifu. Katika Amosi tatu, saba. Kabla maovu hayajatokea mimi Mungu tafulia manabii ama watumishi wangu so kishafunuliwa unajua so that by the time inafika maana inaweza fika ikifika kwako haina nguvu so kishafunuliwa unatumia mdomo wako na ulimi ninatangaza kila makusudi zilizokusudiwa na ibilisi pamoja na mawakala wake vikaragozi wake na makuhani wake watenda kazi wake wote kwenye madhabao yao natangaza kwamba hawatafaulu ninatangaza kupindua maamuzi walioamua kwenye malango yao ama madhabao zao na kamwe haitaweza kunifikia chochote kilichothibitika kutokana na usemi wao na imani yao na maongeo yao leo hii ninayabatilisha ninayapindua maana mimi nina sehemu hii kama kuhani kama mfalme aliyoteuliwa na Bwana ndio hiyo Isaiah 54 mstari wa 17 na sometimes ukifanya mambo kama hayo madhabahu zao zinapigwa na wajui vile mapigwa wanaingia na bumbuazi na mshangao na mabutua the next thing unasema nyewe wanaezaambia client huyo he Naonekana yule mwenye tulileta tumfanyie masihara ameenda kwa mganga mwingine mkubwa sana kutoshinda. Lakini ndio nasemanga mtu asiye sema Yesu ni mganga. Kuna mtu anasema mganga wangu ni Yesu, mganga wangu ni Yesu. Hiyo ni uongo na hiyo ni utusi matusi. Uweze kuchukua Yesu mwe katika safu za waganga. Yesu si mganga. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya wewe una mganga. Walio na waganga wakae na waganga wao. Sisi tunamwokozi Yesu msaada wetu. So unapata baadaye unaitwa hey, baada ya wewe kufanya ku declare hiyo ndio mambo naamka usiku. Ndio shida kama uko kwa plot ambayo ina watu wengi. One time kuna plot ambayo nilishi Lando dikawa ameenda. Nikawachia kumbe Mungu aliniset hiyo compound na vitu. Nilikuwa natembea compound mzima nikitangaza maombi ya saa saba usiku na naomba nikitangaza na kuharibu vitu katika maombezi. So in your house you wake up you make decrees and declarations hewa na anga inasikia hewa na anga inasikia ulimwengu wa kiroho unasikia Kwa katika safu ya kiroho hakuna mipaka haleluya haina estate 1 estate b it is open so you need atangaza mambo ya mtu aliye America katika anga hiyo hiyo sehemu yako ndio hii someone wake up now bwana asifiwe ingia kwa maombezi ndio ndio faida ya maombi ambayo unaomba na sauti hii tuliomba ukatoliki tulidanganywa nyingo tulidanganywa hiyo kwamba katika jina la 
sasa hata hujafanya degree sisi nilitoka kule nikajua kumbe huko nilikuwa ni dhuluma nilikuwa nayo hapa tunafungwa midomo so mkristo kuwa na mdomo bagi na christian kuwa na mdomo pana haleluya kuwa na mdomo gorogoro kubwa you release a word ni kama mdomo wako ni mdogo sana eh chenye ongeongea na sauti kubwa inatoka kama na kama mdomo kadogo kama ya ndege please tuachana hata kanyoni wana anatoa sauti sana what i mean that a christian let your mouth be a mouth that is sharper mdomo wako uwe pana then ulimi wako unaachilia maneno maneno yalo unayachilia si ya umbea wala si ya udako maombi yalo unawachilia mm? ni unabii ulio na uhakikisho you become one deadly fella mdomo wako uwe ni kombora ulimi wako unakarusha midomo ingine zote sio imesema you nullify other tongues other tongues nikimalizia ni wakati wote amekuongea vibaya oh, huyo tunaona atakufa ugonjwa hiyo unaona itamaliza hiyo biashara tukiangalia atoni kama itafaulu mtu wa kwanza mtu wa pili mtu wa tatu eh hii biashara itasimama kweli hizo zinaitwa ndimi tongues they are evil tongues daktari anasema hii nasa anasema hii Ewa ni nakuona pia nasema eh hey, atuone kama zitatoboa they are evil tongues uko na nyumba m mm, umekodesha nyumba m mm, agent anasema utahama hii nyumba tuone kama una pesa ya kulipa eh wapangaji pia nasema nyee inakaa hii nyumba huyu atahama tuone kama atatoboa mwenye nyumba pia anaongea hivyo hivyo ukiingia katika maombezi unakanusha hizo midomo those are the evil tongues Mashetane pia uongea, mm, pia ufanya guaride, pia ufanya vikao. Wanapiga ndimi. You nullify those tongues. Kuna zama kanisa ambazo kuna mkusanyiko wa maongeo wanatabiri vibaya, unapindua those tongues. Taifa la Kenya leo hii imegawanyika. Kuna se, pande ambayo inaongea mambo fulani, pande nyingine inaongea mambo fulani. Tunapoomba mbele za Bwana pia tunafanya kuzima midomo fulani maongeo na mitajo yale tunayapindua we nullify them we disannul haleluya so tunafurisha na Isaiah ambaye ametufundisha mambo hayo nafunga sehemu hii na kile ambacho ametufundisha pia katika Isaiah sura ni 14 mstari wa 24 now that we done the season of prayer Noa mdomo wako, noa ulimi wako. You sharpen your mouth. Now chapter 14 of Isaiah verse number 24. 25 and also 26. Now the Lord of hosts has sworn saying surely as I have thought so shall it come to pass and as I have purposed so shall it stand. How does God swear? Andika sema Mungu ameapa. Mtu hapa na nini na mdomo? Sivyo ama sivyo. When you swear, mtu ufanya atulena majajes mahakimu wa Kenya wakiapishwa. Si mtu unabeba mkono na mdomo wako unaongea nao. Haleluya. So there's a place of the tongue, the place of the mouth. Does God has a mouth? Yes. Does God has a tongue? He does. Does God has a hand? Yes, he has. Mungu ana mkono, ana mdomo, ana ulimi. So hapa anasema, na Bwana Mungu wa majeshi ameapa akisema, kwa hakika yangu kama vile nilivyo kusudia ama kama vile nilivyo ama uh, nilivyo kusudia ndivyo itakavyo tokea. Na kama vile nilivyo kusudia ndivyo itakavyo kuwa mdomo Haleluya Katika usemi ama katika hali ya kutangaza kula ama kuapa kunazo midomo kunazo maongeo kunazo mitajo na misemo ambazo huenda zilitawala hali hiyo lakini neno la Bwana akaapa akisema jinsi mimi Mungu Bwana Mungu wa majeshi anaapa sasa ni mimi onyango mako cheng tumesho Bwana 
so there are prayers ambazo tukiomba tunatangaza sisi ni nani kiroho ni declare niliitwa na Bwana katika hali hii nikaitwa na Mungu basi enyi malango za gizani ninakuja katika kujitambulisha mie ni nani ndio vile watu nakabili ulimwangu wa giza sura wa 25 sasa Bwana ameapa asema m ameapa hapa alafu anasema mstari wa 26 kwamba this is the purpose that is purpose upon the whole earth and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations So for the Lord of hosts has purposed and who shall disannul it Maana Bwana Mungu wa majeshi amekusudia ama ameapa basi ni nani atafanya kulikanusha disannul So that means sisi tukikiri mambo fulani then kuna Hakuna ambaye ameruhusiwa kuikanusha. Japo kuna uwezekano wa maneno yako kukanushwa. Vile wewe sasa umegundua kwamba kuna vikao na maongeo ambazo ziliongelewa dhidi yako. Sasa utayakanusha because usipoyakanusha ni mfanyiko wa wofa ya dhidi yako. Maroza mashetani ufuata maamuzi kama yale. Maana inakuja kama upepo kama hali ya giza inakujanga inazuka kama laana ikipata maneno yale yaliyoongelewa na ikaelekezwa kwako zimepewa ruhusa zinakuingia then you begin to encounter shida hmm? so in that in that aspect of warfare katika hali ya vita vya kiroho lazima utumie mdomo wako so kuna mambo ambazo you disannul and his hand is stretched out and who shall turn it back na mkono wa Bwana umenyoshwa nani ataurudisha nyuma Samuel chukua maarifa hiyo chukua ufuno huo tumia nyumba yako mtu jiwaje unaongelewa vibaya ndoto ambazo naashiria kwamba unatabiriwa vibaya ndoto kama uf, kama zifuatazo one ukiona kwa ndoto zako kuna vikao vya njugu karanga watu wanakula njugu karanga alafu hata pia unakula njugu karanga Then you kwamba wewe ume, umeshanenewa kwa baraza. Kuna baraza ama vikao ambako umeongelewa njugu karanga. Aya mind choma. Then you know zina mnakula kula tu mind choma na hizi eh, za nimepepetwa pepetwa. Wewe umeongelewa. Njugu karanga mind choma. Ni baadhi ya ndoto ambazo ukiaota Oi pasa ndio atakuwa anakula njugu karanga tulikuwa tu watu wengi ndio na watu wanakula njugu karanga hata mimi wakanipea nikakula you are the topic of discussion Asa ni wewe walikuwa nakula wanakutafuna <laughs> within a short time within a short time ndoto za njugu karanga hizo haichukua ngi hata wiki moja matokeo utayaona kuongelewa kuzungumziwa na zingine ni kama kuona hmm? uliona unaumwa umwa umaumwa na tu kama nyoka imekuuma imekungata mbwa amekuuma wewe kuna a decree kuna a decree yani kuna maamuzi yameamuliwa wewe lazima kitu kufanyikia umeamua imepitishwa mbwa kakuuma There's a lady we are praying for na akaota ndoto kwamba woi pasta niliamka kama mbwa imuuse amenikimbiza a black big dog something big imenikimbiza mm so kwa ngoja ndoto asema nani kai miss haikunishika and unfortunately akasema woi pasta na nikasikia imenishika na ikaniuma ka nikaamka kama imeniuma kajua huyu kusha But the time she was coming to tell me those dreams <laughs> it was a bit late so kwa na muombea so ile mambo nilimuombea ni mambo ambazo Mungu aliyajibu kama tayari ashashikwa na polisi amehukumiwa kufungwa miaka saba. so nikawa naingia kwa maombi ya kuapeal Mungu na appeal kwamba atafunguliwa atapatikana na makosa na Mungu naomba i'm appealing na katana hali zile maana 
ilitabiriwa katika ulimwengu wa giza maana kuna zawadi alikuwa nazo so tango ni kama maombi yangu ilifika japo alibidi amekula miaka mbili gerezani na akatoka mwaka wa pili that means kama angekuja aniambie mambo hayo mapema punde tu aliona ndoto hiyo tungeiombea na tusambaratishe mambo hayo tuharibu maamuzi yale yaliyoamuliwa kwa msingi wa neno la Bwana na kusimama kwenye malango tu ya kabili yale malango then angeshikwa so some of us you come with your issue and it's too late tutakuombea lakini kuna mfanyiko ambazo lazima itafanyika because ulichelewa ulipa warning mapema kitu likana au kianalize so Mungu pia ana hapa na Mungu aki hapa vile ame hapa ikuweko ndio vile itakuwa japo kuna zo pingamizi ambazo itakuja kupingana nazo kila anasema mimi bwana Mungu wa majeshi nime hapa so mimi pia ana nyango mako chenga chiel yati nyasai so there are some prayers you pray na hiyo sio wenda wazimu sio mogoroki there's no madness there hallelujah we are very sober and over this nation as well there are things we swear there are things we declare there are things we affirm there are dimensions we operate in that our nation won't go to the dogs kwamba taifa la Kenya itaendea mbwa sasa wengine wajipike before upande juu waende chini there are some declarations we have decreed and they shall stand bwana sasifiwe enda fanya juu ya biashara yako fanya hivyo juu ya nyumba yako fanya haya juu ya biashara yako juu ya watoto wako juu ya mme familia some of us juu ya hatima yako kama ushatabi usha pata neno la unabii then simama ukitangaza ukitangaza kwamba jinsi Mungu alivyonipangia ndivyo itakavyotokea so inaanza wanaambia shetani shetani upende usipende uende urudi upande ushuke ufanye upendavyo nimetangaza kulingana na vile Bwana aliniambia na chenye kimeanzishwa na Mungu kimeshinda ulimwengu haleluya Bwana asifiwe so do we have people ambao umeamua kwamba kuna zo hali ambazo tutadil nazo haleluya atusimame mbele za Bwana I want to hear you pray haleluya haleluya and father we bless you and we thank you to say kwamba the reason why church the church of Kenya shall not have a voice over BBI is because the voice of the church is muzzled the church of Kenya has been gone through judgments we have supported the hand of the wicked in Kenya and as a result god has judged Kenya and also god has judged the church